Who wouldn't like to live in this lovely spot? Gary from Sligo is building a passive house here. But what does it mean to live in a passive house? I travelled to Sweden to find out what it's like to live in a house that needs no heating. And Tanya takes a trip to Donegal, where the Meehans are ready to take on an energy challenge. Over the next few years, we'll be challenged by an energy crisis. Passive houses are the solution to future-proofing our new homes against this. So what is a passive house? In this program, we're going to explore this and find out. Gary Sexton is building his house near picturesque Loch Gill, also known as Yates Country. Gary, what a wonderful woodland here. Beautiful place. Mm -hmm. But why this for your house? Well, it was family land. It's been in the family for a number of generations now. And we used to come here when I was younger, playing around in the woods and near the lake and things like that, you know. So I've got a close relationship with this place, so I thought it would be great if I could actually build a house here, which right. I want to do. Lake Isle of Inishfree. Lake Isle of Inishfree. Well, it's only about um, two miles over that way. I will rise and go now and go to Inishfree and well, a small cabin built there. Well, clay and wattles <laughs> made. Are you building one out of wattles I'm building, and clay? yeah, but not out of wattles and clay. No, so, just it's a, a passive house? Passive house, yeah. And why a passive house? Well, initially I was going to go on a low energy house made of wood, OK? But then I went to see a passive house and the day I saw it, it was quite windy and rainy. So I was in the passive house and I kind of felt so calm and tranquil and just at the right temperature. You know, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. It was just kind of perfect temperature. Now, you won't need any heating system in this house. Well, it's a heat vent recovery system I'd be using. Which, That's right. Which fresh air is constantly in the house, you know. Yeah. So and of course, the house is so highly insulated. Exactly. And airtight. Exactly. That's the most, that. the crucial part is the insulation. You can spend your money on insulation, but you'll be rewarded through energy efficiency through the years. And is it going to be much more expensive then? No, I think it'll work out more or less roughly the same in terms of uh, square footage. From a house design point of view now, you've mm -hmm. planned a house. Mm -hmm. how, much, how many rooms in it? Uh, there will be three bedrooms, one will be en suite, central, there'll be a sitting room, dining area, kitchen also. Right. That's right. OK. Mm -hmm. And you're single? I'm single, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're planning your house and, you know, do you intend to stay single all your life? No, I don't actually. I hope to someday have get married and right. have kids maybe that'll help the passivity more bodies in the house also like absolutely you know, so of course the more, more bodies body in the is, house the warmer it the is more also, in the know, winter yeah, of course yeah. so when are you going to start building gary uh, soon i've got the order in i'm curious to find out more about passive house construction and how it all works i'm in sweden in a small town near gothenburg where lars Pettersson will show me how gary's house is being manufactured Passive house is one that is so well insulated so you don't need any heat in it. No heating system at all? Yes, very little. It's heated by passive means, i.e. the people in it, the sun in the windows and the refrigerator and things like that. So all the basic kind of casual gains of heat in the house, even body heat, gives you enough to maintain yeah. the warmth within the house? Yeah, it's hard to believe but it really works. And uh, there's plenty of houses in Sweden that works down to minus 25 degrees without heating system. In, in Ireland we designed to minus 6 degrees Celsius. That's the coldest temperature we expect to get. And in that temperature we expect the house to be 22 degrees inside all the time. And all that's time. with no heating at all, no heating system at all? Well, you're allowed 10 watt per square meter on the coldest day of the year. Which means that uh, half a toaster will do the trick for a thousand square foot house. Half a toaster on, that's yeah. all you need yeah. in heating for the house. Yeah. So to achieve that, how much insulation have you got to put into the walls, the floors, the roof? In Ireland we use 145 plus 70. This is okay. uh, nice. 6 inch plus yeah. three, uh, inches. 3 inches. Right. So is air tightness very important also? It's very important. You can take an analogy, you have a very well insulated jacket and then you open it and let the wind blow in. It's no good then, no matter how well insulation you have in the jacket, if, if the wind blows in. So air tightness is important. So what about ventilation in the house? How do you deal with this? Because you've got a very, very airtight house. How do you achieve good ventilation? There's an active ventilation system that extracts air from the dirty rooms. That's kitchen, bath and laundry 
and then you supply air to the clean rooms and you have a heat recovery that sort of heats the, the old air, heats the cold air coming in from outside for free. So then you eliminate the ventilation heat losses to a large extent. Looking at the length of it there, hoping it'll get up the, um, some of the corners on the road, you know. But um, the boys seem reasonably confident, so they'd know more than me at this game. The foundation of the house is a specially designed, highly insulated concrete slab with no cold bridges, which prevents heat conducting through the structure. The spruce and pine for the timber frame and cladding is sourced from sustainably managed forests in Sweden. The wall panels arrived with insulation, cladding, and windows and doors fitted. We've just actually got this house up which I'm delighted with at how it went. I wasn't anticipating that we'd get so far. I must say it's brilliant at what happened. Later in the programme, we'll see how Gary's getting on in the next stage of building his passive house.